Hi friends, this is Nagashwar. Welcome to my channel, IT Part 143. In this tutorial, I will show you how to format the text in the text boxes created in Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. Open Publisher 2007. Before formatting, we need to select the text first. Once it is selected, formatting toolbar is activated. Come to font and click on the arrow. Scroll up and down to select your preferences or directly we can enter the name of our font. For example, if you want to select Calibri, please type C and it will show the font category starting with C and we can select the font. Similarly, for font sizes, click on the arrow. It will show default sizes. Other than the sizes, if you want to add your custom size, type in the font size field. I'm entering 15 and font will be changed to 15 font size and we can also use font sizes with decimal values. I'm entering 21.5 and we will get the related font size and we can also use basic formatting options like bold letters, italic, underline and also we can apply the font color. Again select the text, come to font color, click on the arrow and select fill effects. By this we can add the color depending on the shade. and click on the arrow, we can select different colors and we will get the shaded colors to each of them and we can also select more colors select the font color, OK we can also format the font from format tab before that select the text, come to format, click on the option font and here it will show the predefined settings we have selected font as Calibri and font style bold italic and size we have selected 21.5 and it is showing the underline if you want you can select what's only double line dotted thick dot again we can select the color preferences and here we can use outline emboss shadow engrave and we can see the preview of the font with applying these options in the sample window after selecting the preferences click on ok and font will be changed according to this. After this, let's add background color. Click on the text box. Come to fill color and click on the arrow. Select the colors showing here and we can also select from more fill colors. And we got the new background color. Again, come to fill colors. Here, please select the option fill effects. In gradient tab, we have to select the options. One color, two colors are preset. Here, I'm selecting two colors. And we need to select the colors we want to mix. In color 1, you can select different colors and similarly come to color 2 and select your preferences. And after that, click on OK. Now we got the color scheme with horizontal shading. Again, select the text box, come to fill colors, select fill effects. Again, we can also set shading styles to vertical, diagonal up, diagonal down, from corner and from center and we can check the previews and after that click on OK. Now we got the new shading style in the background and we can also use texture as fill color. For that come to fill color and select the option fill effects. Click on texture. Here we can select the default textures and we can also add patterns. Come to pattern tab and select the pattern and if you want we can change the foreground color, background colors and click on OK. Again, come to fill color, select fill effects and we can also add picture as the background color and come to tint. Here we can add the colors with shading and we can also use different colors. Use more colors. Click on OK and we also get more options by right clicking on the text box. Here, please select format text box Again, we will select various preferences. We can change the color and we can use transparency rate. You can observe in the preview and we can add line colors around the text box. For that, come to line option, select the color. Here I'm selecting green color and we got the line around the text box and we can use line options. If you want to add stars and if you want to add dash, 
and after that come to style and here we can select the line weight and we can also add border art around the text box for that click on the border art and here it is showing the available borders you can select different borders to make the text box more fancy click on ok and click on ok to see the result and here we got a with three dots after adding the borders to see the text just widen the text box and we can also add the coordinates to our text box for this we need to import a toolbar come to view and navigate to toolbars here please select the option measurement and we can place this with the toolbars now I want to change the x and y coordinates let's check the result and we can also adjust the width height and even rotation and to increase the size of the text box proportionately that is equal changes in all the sides for that press Ctrl Alt Shift on your keyboard and drag the text box from one corner and it will change proportionately like this we can format the text in the text boxes created in Microsoft Office Publisher 2007 I hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like button and please share this video with your friends and please visit my channel itbot143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you friends, have a nice day.